It's Bruiser TV featuring all of the superstars of Bruiser Wrestling. I'm Sean Boomer Bratton along with the son of a legend, Dick the Bruiser. It is great to have you here this week, Bruiser. It's great to be back in the in the hot seat here with you, I tell you what. And to talk about the hot seat, the match, you know, the, did the bell even ring? This is incredible. We're, we're seeing a big brawl right now between Andy Shane, Sebastian Rose, Halloween, and Sergeant Jay Peterson. Look at that. Off the ropes. Reversal now. Double hip toss. Sebastian Rose slides out of the ring. Andy Shane, he needs to get out of there, and he's going to go out the hard way. Andy Shane to the outside. That's what they get for jumping Halloween and Sergeant Jay Peterson before the bell. It's just like being downtown, I tell you. It is. Wow. <laughs> you always have to be careful. Sergeant Jay Peterson and Halloween turning the tables on Sebastian Rose. Rose and Andy Shane, and you'll see it ringside as uh, Andy Shane goes up and over. Baron Von Badblood, Bruiser, is out there with Sebastian Rose. There he is right there. Baron Von Badblood is managing Sebastian Rose and Andy Shane. That's like a third guy out there. You're not just wrestling two, you're wrestling three. That's a lot for Halloween and uh, Sergeant Jay Peterson to deal with. And, and, and Bruiser, what did you say? The, the, the Devil's Duo? This That's team is the Devil's Duo. I tell you what, they're tough. They're mean and they're nasty, and it's just this is what they want to be called by. Baron Von Badblood said it's the new team of the century called the Devil's Duel, and they will become the champions. And that's the deal, Bruiser, is because they have made it very clear that they want those tag team titles here in Bruiser Wrestling held by Casey Thunder and yourself. That's right. You know what? They're going to have to get in line and take us on one at a time when their time comes. We'll take him on. And speaking of Casey Thunder, he is in the main event this week taking on Sexy Sean Casey. That's going to be an incredible matchup. This one also an incredible matchup. Sergeant J. Peterson working on that arm of Sebastian Rose. Now goes into a hammerlock and Sebastian Rose down on the mat. Really nowhere for him to go. He's going to try and spin out of it. Work his way back up to his feet. What's he going to be able to do? Sergeant J. has that hammerlock really, really deep. Makes the tag to Halloween who comes in. Looks like they're going to stay on that arm of Sebastian Rose. Halloween up on that middle rope. Double axe maybe he's going to deliver it full 100 percent and, and then more i think exactly I oh and sebastian rose is hurting another uh, arm ringer from halloween they are staying on that arm halloween going now for that deep arm bar sebastian rose from his knee is going to work his way back up into the eyes into the uh the eyes of halloween pushing him back into the corner that is the wrong spot for halloween because andy shane is back there and look at that now sergeant jay comes in and halloween just getting blindsided by all baron von bad blood andy shane and sebastian rose they need to stay out of the corner of devil's duel they got to stay out of there. I tell you what, we are jam-packed today on this show. We have a capacity crowd here. Oh, did you see that? Big clothesline, almost taking the head off of Halloween. Boy, Andy Shane looks fantastic. And I heard through the grapevine that Andy Shane even nursing a couple of injuries going into this matchup. But uh, as you know, Bruiser, because you've been in the ring with Andy Shane so many times, this guy's a gamer. He doesn't care what's wrong. He's got his sights set on these tag team titles. He's not going to let anything get in his way. He'll go out there, rain or shine, sick, his eyeball popping out. One time I went out and wrestled him. I, I tell you what. He suplexed me one time and broke my back. Oh, jeez. I don't know how I finished him at, but he cracked part of my lower back. I just had to take off a couple of months, rest up. But he's one top hombre, I tell you. Andy Shane is vicious. Well, Bruiser, it wasn't that long ago. Uh, Bruiser Classics right here on Bruiser TV. We saw a match between you and Andy Shane, and these were the stakes. I'm sure you remember this vividly. Uh, Andy Shane was the champion at the time, and uh, if you were able to win the match, you would become the champion. But if you lost, you would have to retire, and Bobo Brazil would have to retire. I remember that match. It was the retirement match. It was one of the roughest classic matches I've ever been and on Bruiser TV. And Dr. Jerry Graham, who was managing Andy Shane at the time, was handcuffed to Bobo Brazil at ringside. And somehow I ended up getting handcuffed. Yeah, 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 exactly. I don't know what happened with all of that. Well, it's something to do with Andy Shane and Dr. Jerry Graham. That's how uh, there's so much, so much craziness going on with those guys. But Andy Shane now has aligned himself with uh, Baron Von Bad Blood. Baron Von Badblood is managing the uh, the Bombshells champion. Baron Von Badblood is really just kind of sticking of no, his nose into anyone's uh, business if it looks like they're going to be a success here in Bruiser Wrestling. You're right. He manages champions, and he's promised to take the Devil's Duel to the championship. So they want the gold. 
and that's what they're after. And now Sebastian Rose going for that cover on Halloween. Halloween able to kick out, but a lot of damage done to his knee, and we're only about five minutes into this match. Certainly this would be a statement victory for and Halloween trying to fire back. Can he make it into his corner? And quickly shut down by Sebastian Rose. So, uh, again, talking about like a statement match here uh, for Sebastian Rose and for Andy Shane. They want to be the number one contenders. Well, if, they, if they're if they able to beat Halloween and Sergeant J. Peterson, I mean, they would certainly leapfrog over any other tag team here in Bruiser Wrestling. You're correct. They would be the number one challengers because right now they're facing the number one tag team and Bruiser TV. And look at that. Halloween able to make that tag to Sergeant J. Peterson. Peterson punching away at Sebastian Rose. Rose go for a, goes for a ride. Big back elbow from the Sarge. Sergeant J. Peterson picks up Sebastian Rose and deposits him. It's coming. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Right in the center of the ring. And what's the Sarge going to do? Goes up to that middle rope. Going to drop the knee maybe. And that knee right across that midsection of Sebastian Rose. Needs to go for that quick cover. Referee is right there. And Andy Shane real quick to uh, break up that pin attempt. Well, that could have been it. That was a real tough near off that middle rope. Going back to what you're saying, the winner of this match, I'm sure will get a match with myself, the bruiser, and my tag team partner. I tell you what. He knew who he is. He's Casey alive Thunder. With Casey Thunder. Oh, exactly. And we're going to see Casey Thunder, as we said in the main event, taking on Sexy Sean Casey. And Sebastian Rose uh, turning the tables on Sergeant J. Peterson and knocking out the Sarge with a clothesline. And Sergeant J. Peterson, Bruiser, is in Bruiser Wrestling because uh, you recruited him for Bruiser Wrestling as a special enforcer here in Bruiser Wrestling. He was brought in as an enforcer to do away with the world wrestling outlaws. I remember them. You know, Billy Bragg, I said, the, the Wolfman still wears a shirt every once in a while. So does William Studd. And he has stayed as he's still our enforcer. And that's why he's tagged with you, to do away with the Devil's Duel. And Andy Shane with a flying shoulder tackle off of that top rope. They don't call him flying Andy Shane for nothing. You might not like the guy, and trust me, a lot of us don't. But boy, the guy can bring it into the ring. He can brawl. He can go to the outside. He can fly to the outside. He can fly to the inside. Look at that. Quick cover. Does he have him? And Sebastian Rose is right there as well, but it looked like Andy Shane was going to kick out at about two and seven eighths. Well, this tag team, I tell you what, they are tough. They remind me of a tag team, which used to be Angelo Poffo and Chris Marco. These guys are rough and they're tough. Look at them. Now you got Bad Blood, Baron Von Bad Blood, he wants to be called. Mm -hmm. Boy, and I tell you what, Baron Von Bad Blood looks to be in tremendous shape. I'm sure we'll see uh, him soon in the, again in the ring here in Bruiser Wrestling. And Andy Shane now, just like they were doing to Halloween earlier in the match, is going to town now on Sergeant Jay Peterson. They bring him up to his feet. There's a double whip in. Big double backdrop, almost backdropped wow. him out of the ring. What a maneuver by the Devil's Duel. They have precise tag team, and this is what you need to do. They're both in and out. Quickness it is one great match here. Looked like Sebastian Rose was going in for a choke on that one, and uh, if so, the referee was right there administering the five count. I think he used just about every little bit of that five count that he could. And what's Sebastian Rose going to do? He's going to the top, it looks like. This is his big swanton bomb that he loves to deliver. If he hits this bruiser, it is all over. It'll be a big victory for the Devils duo. He's up to the top. Perfect balance up there as well. And here we go. And he misses. Sergeant Jay Peterson was able to roll out of the way. He's looking to get a tag, but where's Halloween at? Jay rolled over to the wrong corner. The Sarge, you've got to go over to where Halloween is. Halloween's got to get in there. We need some... They need a fresh body in there to take on the Devil's Duel right now. And Halloween still nursing that bad knee from uh, from the start of this match. Who's going to make the tag first here? They are both so close to their respective corners. And Andy Shane, a little bit of a cheat there. He tried to make it in before the actual tag. Sebastian Rose makes the tag. Andy Shane is in. Halloween now gets the tag. Blocks the punch from Andy Shane. Throws a forearm. Throws another forearm. Andy Shane goes down. Sebastian Rose met with a clothesline. Another clothesline for Andy Shane. Another clothesline for Sebastian Rose. And Andy Shane goes down. Halloween is cleaning house, shaking off all effects of that bad knee. That was four clotheslines by Halloween there. Oh, he is mad. He is fired up right now, working over Andy Shane in that corner. Sergeant Jay Peterson is coming over. Going to give him a hand. They're double teaming Andy Shane. Halloween goes with Sebastian Rose, brings him up, couple of forearms right into the side of the head, trying to knock him into next week, it looks like. Well, those are right in the chin area, into the jaw area. Oh, and Halloween is setting up maybe for that double knee attack. He goes for it right now. 
Sebastian Rose moves. Halloween goes down. Look at that. Sebastian Rose goes for a cover. Well, Feeder on that middle rope, and that's it, Bruiser. Well, that's not going to count. His feet were on the ropes. It's very clear that his feet were on the ropes. Very clear that his feet were on the ropes. Let's see this again. Goes for the uh, double knee attack. Sebastian Rose moves out of the way. Puts his feet on the ropes, covers Halloween for the one, two, three. Look at that. You know, they Sebastian Rose trying to get out of town real quick. The referee didn't see it because I didn't see it until, you know what? It was great. I tell you what, the referee didn't see it. I didn't see it. You're the only one that saw it. I saw it was on the, it was on the replay, Bruiser. You're going to have to deal with these guys at some point. Andy Shane, Sebastian Rose, their manager, Baron Von Bad Blood. They are the Devil's Duo. They are now officially the number one contenders for the tag team titles.